The new iPad Pro 2021 comes out, the Mass Effect trilogy gets a redux, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla gets an expansion. This is totally rated. Apple has finally released the 2021 version of the Apple iPad Pro. This version is rocking the new M1 chip, and along with its 5G connectivity, Apple promises that this will be the fastest iPad yet. Here is Tom's guide with more. The iPad Pro 2021 is a speed demon with its M1 chip. It turned in huge scores on Geekbench 5 and a great time on our Adobe Premiere Rush test. Over at Tom's Guide, we gave it a 4.5 out of 5 with an Editor's Choice Award for just everything being great. The audio is fantastic, and the big news is the display. The 12.9 inch has the XDR Liquid Retina display, and you're going to get the best benefits of that on HDR content. So you're probably going to know what has HDR support and what doesn't. HBO Max and Hulu don't, but Netflix, Apple TV, and Amazon Prime do. The new iPad Pro 12.9 inch edition for 2021 is a best in class tablet experience. This is the best tablet you can buy right now. But the real question is, do you actually need it? This is only for certain people. It has an M1 processor, which we found to be incredibly powerful. If you go for the right option, you'll get 5G connectivity, and it has a great mini LED display as well. But do you need it? It's got a very high price tag. It isn't made for everyone, but it is a phenomenal experience. So there it is, the iPad is scoring a 4.5 out of 5 for Tom's Guide and Tech Radar. One of the most influential game trilogies is coming back. Mass Effect Legendary Edition is out for PlayStation, Xbox and PC, and with this remake, it's never too late to visit the space exploits of Commander Shepard. If you've never played the Mass Effect trilogy before, now is the best time to get your feet wet. You'll absolutely lose a chunk of your life to these games, but there are several reasons why fans like me love the original trilogy. Mass Effect Legendary Edition is absolutely worth your time and money. The value proposition, basically three full games for, for just 60 bucks, is out of this world. Here is Games Radar with their thoughts. Even if these games didn't look any better than they did when they originally released, I would still tell you that this bundle is worth it. Listen, Mass Effect, we all know how the faces look. They're not going to look the best, but the textures look really good, and the lighting looks really good, and it overall just looks so much better. And the only reason why I deducted even a fraction of a point from my review is because there's no Mass Effect 3 multiplayer, and I miss Mass Effect 3 multiplayer. Mass Effect Legendary Edition is worth the revisit, with Tom's Guide giving it 4.5 out of 5, and Games Radar giving it 4.5 out of 5. The first major expansion to Assassin's Creed Valhalla is out, with Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids. What many call the best game on Xbox right now can expect the same type of action, which can be a good thing or a bad thing. If you're wondering whether or not you should buy Wrath of the Druids, you need to ask yourself how much you enjoyed Valhalla and how much more you want from it. I know plenty of people who put in 60 plus hours and said that was enough, but I also know some who are well over 80 hours in and are eager for more. For those in the former category, I don't think Wrath of the Druids will be enough to draw you back in. Having more of the same isn't necessarily a problem in a game that's 20 or 30 hours long, but in a 50 plus hour game like Valhalla, an expansion needs to differentiate itself better. That said, I personally had a lot of fun with it, even if the opening hour or two was too slow for my liking. The Children of Madonna were an interesting cult I looked forward to fighting, and Ireland is just as gorgeous and full of wonder as England. Tom's Guide liked it, but found it to be almost identical to the previous game. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids is an easygoing expansion with nothing to prove. It has basically all the same strengths and weaknesses as Assassin's Creed Valhalla, with just one substantial addition. I can't imagine that series fans will be talking about this one for years to come, but I also can't imagine that they'll walk away disappointed. If you've got $40 to spare, and are eager to see what the Season Pass will bring next, Wrath of the Druids is the first of two major expansions, the next is called The Siege of Paris, Wrath of the Druids is a fine investment. If you already tried sinking dozens of hours into Assassin's Creed Valhalla and bounced off before the end, Wrath of the Druids probably won't lure you back in. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Wrath of the Druids doesn't reinvent the wheel, but does right by its legacy with Windows Central and Tom's Guide, scoring it a 3.5 out of 5. And that's it for this episode of Totally Rated. I'm Tom and make sure to join us next time for a snapshot of what's hot and what's not in tech and gaming.